श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम टू दिस साइड स्टील इज ए कोई टुवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द टेंथ चैप्टर इन दिस त्रिपुरा रहस्य वी हैव कम टू ए कंक्लूजन दैट तस्मा श्रेयो निदान तो सत्संग प्रथम भवि तस्मा श्रेयो वाचने तो सत्संशय परो भवि इट ईज ओनली बाय लिसनिंग टू द सत्संग दैट वी आर एबल टू गेट अ क्लियर पिक्चर अबाउट अवर आइडेंटिटी अबाउट व्हाट द वर्ल्ड इज अबाउट हू द गॉड इज and about what is the spiritual practice these are the four areas which demand special understanding without this understanding if we think we are walking spiritual path we are just groping in darkness and therefore what was told was this whole world that we see is like a reflection in the mirror so when we take the reflection in the mirror what is our understanding about this phenomena of reflection in the mirror when our attention is on the images reflected in the mirror we will miss the surface of the mirror the other day i went to somebody's house and in the bathroom then uh, i told that lady i said mama do you have any glass cleaning liquid and something i want to clean something why then yeah, i just want to clean the mirror so i went and sprayed it and cleaned she so why did you clean as it was dirty but i have never seen it is dirty i said because when you look into the mirror where do you look if you are looking at your in image you can never see the mirror and if you are looking at the surface of the mirror then your attention is not on the image see friends in the same manner when our attention is on the multiplicity of names and forms this names and forms are supported by the conscious mirror see and therefore although the mirror is in front of us we are unable to see that only because of change in the focal length so to see the mirror do we have to do anything pranayam pratyahar nothing see therefore the teacher tells here if you are able to change your focal length and the change in the focal length is only by proper inquiry and when you do the proper inquiry what is the proper inquiry colors and forms are existing in the vision so the substratum of the multiplicity of colors and forms is supported by the mirror of vision if we put a covering on the mirror and we stand in front of the mirror we will not get our image see so vision is the mirror in which the names and the forms appear therefore where are all the names and forms they are existing in the 
we get. But we never focus attention on the vision. So much preoccupied by the color and form. And one day by God's grace, it so happens that we start getting headache and we are not able to read properly. I don't know, these days, you know, I have got some problem. Then we go to the doctor. And when we go to the doctor, our now attention is taken away from the colors and forms. Now our attention has come on the vision. See. Now, what is vision? Vision is a reflection in the mind. Like many times, you know, you must be experiencing it every day. I speak for about 75 to 80 minutes. Out of 75 to 80 minutes, how many minutes you listen? Huh? This is also not heard. The mind is running. So where are all the sense organs? Sense organs are nothing but reflection in the mind. In deep sleep, the mind is enfolded. Therefore, there is no perception of colors and form, sound, etc. So where are all these sense organs? They are reflection in the mind. And what is the mind? Mind is <coughs> the reflection of mind in the consciousness. See? In this manner, Everything is essentially consciousness. But why we are not able to cognize this conscious reality, Samvit or Chetana, or the conscious existence, Chetana Satta, why we are not able to cognize? Because our attention is somewhere else. That is all. See? Now do this experiment. See, you can... Get some glimpses. You look at the curtain behind me and see what is your experience. Where are you? You are away from yourself. Now, from that object you leave and come to this camera. So your experience is you have come a little nearer to yourself. Now try to see your own eyes by your own eyes. Then you drop the object, curtain and camera and also you drop the eyes and you have come to the mind. When we come to the mind, The objective perceptions make no difference. See, like when we are emotional, we are in mind. And then somebody gives you, please take this thing. No, no, I don't want to do it. I am, please, I am prepared with something. Please take a little bit. Okay. So that time what we are eating, is not by the mind, by the mouth, but by the mind. We are no more at the tongue level. We are no more at the stomach level. See, friends, and when we transcend the mind, dukkheshu anudvigna manaha, sukheshu vigatas pruhaha. When the miseries don't make us miserable, and when we are no more attached to the comforts, then where are we? We are no more in the mind. This journey from the objectivity to the subjectivity is the spiritual journey. And this journey is not conducted by any vehicle, it is not crossing distances. 
in time. See, friends. Thus, everything is pure conscious existence. And this pure conscious existence alone is appearing as the multiplicity of this world. And this multiplicity of the world is like the image in the mirror. But this we can understand if our understanding about the image in the mirror is correct. If we go on dissecting that images are lateral inversion, then our attention is not on the mirror in the same manner. If we are worried about the world, oh, the world is very bad, earlier the world was good, you know, now it is very bad. So we are nowhere near on our essential self. See, friends, in this manner, in the 10th chapter, we are concluded that it is the conscious reality alone in which this world of names and forms, the sentient and inanimate world appears as the images. See? Now how it is image? Just another way of understanding. You are looking at me. You think you are looking at me and I think I am looking at you. But truth is different. What you are seeing is only the light reflected on my beautiful face. It is beautiful. <laughs> it is not a joke. It is a joke. <laughs> so what you are seeing is only the reflected light. If the light is not there, my face is there. Can you see that? So what you are seeing is not my face. Reflected light. Number one. Second thing, you are not seeing even the reflected light. What you are seeing is the image formed on your retina through your eyes. So all our knowledge is only about the images. And if there is a cataract, if the image is not properly formed, we say the world is hazy in the same manner. When the image on the mind is not properly formed, because there is a cataract on the mind. And the cataract on the mind is Kama, Krodha, Lova, Moha, Madha, Matsarya, Desire, Anger, Frustration, Greed, You, I, Achievement, Failure. It's a cataract on the mind. Naturally, the reflection will not be properly formed and then the world is very bad and I am very good. See, so what we really experience is only the images. And the quality of the images will depend on the quality of the reflecting media. So mind has these impurities desire, anger, etc. But the pure conscious reality doesn't have any impurity because other than the conscious reality, there is nothing else. See, friends, therefore, everything is nothing but the conscious self. Now, he who is established in this knowledge and experience, will he have to struggle to do anything or undo anything in this world. <coughs> knowledge is of two types. One knowledge demands a follow of action and upasana. Second type of knowledge doesn't demand a follow of action and upasana. See? If you run every day 10 miles, you are stomach will go inside. Knowledge. Then, I heard Swami Ji, but stomach is not going inside. Did you run? No. <laughs> oh, I have to run also. Sharvana Matreda. Only by hearing nothing will happen. So, this knowledge 
is to be followed by action. Upasana. If you do the Gayatri Mantra 2400,000 times. Om Bhurbho Swaha Tassavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Standing in the Ganges water up to the knee deep. First 800,000. Next 800,000 up to the waist deep. The last 800,000 up to the throat deep. And do this. Then you will have the vision of the Mother Gayatri. Okay. Then nothing happened. Did you do that? No. So knowledge demands follow action. This is one kind of knowledge. Second kind of knowledge doesn't demand any follow up action or upasana. For example, this is a mic. It ends. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to follow anything. What Vedanta does is the second time. What Karma and Upasana does is the first time. Therefore, in Karma and Upasana, there is struggle. And in this knowledge, Vedanta, there is no struggle. See, friends. Vijanan Vidwan Bhavati Nati Vadi. One who is established in this experience, he is not obsessed with anything. Okay. And when we are only at the periphery of our understanding, then we are obsessed with so many things. <coughs> For example, I will give you. One North Indian girl got married to a Gujarati family. North India means Jai Sri Ram. Gujus mean Jai Sri Krishna. So this Jai Sri Ram got married to Jai Sri Krishna. <laughs> and she went to that house. After she went there, right from childhood, her only prayers were Jai Sri Ram, Jai Sri Ram. And when she went to the new house, there everything Jai Sri Krishna. In front also no Rama, only Krishna. So she is standing before Krishna, Jai Sri Ram, Jai Sri Ram. And a doubt comes in her mind. So she asked me, Swamiji, this is the problem. I stand before Krishna and say, Jai Sri Ram, what will happen? I said, he will get confused by you only. <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't worry. No, but is it right? I said, why do you worry? It is for you and me, Krishna and Rama are different. Not for them. No, but I am not convinced. Swami, you tell me something. I said, okay. Are you a superior devotee than uh, Mirabai? No, of course not. What was the mantra Mirabai was doing? Payoji Mene Ramanatana Dhana Payo. Her mantra was Ramanam. And she was the devotee of Krishna. <laughs> You are also having the Ram Ram Mantra, standing before Krishna. Mira in the making. <laughs> Where is doubt? See, friends, whenever we are in this karma and upasana, you will always struggle in life. See, friends. Therefore, Vijanan Vidvan Bhavate Nati Vadi. Shrutvaivam hemachudasya kathamatyat bhutam tada bhargava sandhigdamanaha prashtum samupachakrame bhagavan sri guru yate proktam jnanam mahat bhutam bhati me vishamam yetat sa asadhyam chapi sarvataha kathametam jagat drusham chiti matra swarupakam adrushtam ki valam yeta shraddho peoyam na chanyatam chiti chaitya nirpinir mukta nanu bhavya kadaj kathanjana nobapannam sarvataitat katham chittam samaruhet 
कृपया बोधया बोधनीयोहम अत्र सर्वात्मन खलु इत्यापृष्टो दत्त गुरु अवदत भार्गवम प्रति Having heard this wonderful story of Hema Chud and Hema, Hema, let us call short name, <coughs> Parashuram ji had some doubt in his mind. He said, O oh Guru Dev, O oh Bhagavan, this peculiar type of uh, exposition on the truth that you have given is very difficult even to comprehend and understand that everything is consciousness. And it is not possible also. Because how can this world be only consciousness? We are seeing this world as inert and you say this world is consciousness. How can we accept it? How we can accept it only on the strength of faith. No, because you tell it must be so. But actually it is not. Therefore, can the consciousness be recognized independent of the inert world? See? It is... Because there is inert world, we call consciousness. They are together. Can you understand the north without the south? Can we understand the darkness without the light? See? Can we understand joy without the sorrows? Can we understand death without the birth? In the same manner, to understand and accept that there is only consciousness, but what about this inert world? So without the inertness, this world cannot be recognized and therefore this I am unable to comprehend logically. So how, when I am unable to even accept it logically, how it can be experienced by me? Therefore, please explain me properly so that I am able to comprehend and experience this. So, <clears throat> शुणु राम प्रवक्षा दृश्य तत्व यथास्थित एक दृश्यम अशेष तो दृशी मात्र न चेत भगवान दत्तात्रेय देर आफ्टर टोल्ड परशुराम जी हे परशुराम जी प्लीज नाउ लिसन आई शैल टेल यू द सीक्रेट ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव वर्ल्ड एंड व्हाट इज द सीक्रेट द सीक्रेट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव वर्ल्ड इज नथिंग अदर दैन the vision of the one who is experiencing the world. See, in Bhagavad Mahapuran, this thought comes. When eyes open, opening of the eyes creates colors and forms. When eyes close, all those colors and forms which were created, they go back to the vision. Similarly, all the sense organs, when they are in contact with the mind and the world, then they are functional. When the mind is withdrawing all the sense organs, the mind alone is, sense organs are not. Similarly, consciousness expressing through any instrument as mind, that instrument becomes enlivened. And where the consciousness cannot express as mind, cannot remain as enlivened. In this manner, when you come to know that this world is only vision, drishi matra, only the consciousness, only the knowledge. And about this, atropa patim vakshami shrudu samyak samahitaha eta drusham karya bhutam putpatehe Upalambhataha. Now, listen, I shall tell you the secret behind it and proper way to look at it. Whatever is seen by us is an objective perception and is an effect. No effect can exist without a cause. And this world is constantly appearing new. Utpatti nutana bhasaha pratikshanam idam jagat nutanatve naiva bhati tadkshana utpatti Jagat. Everything this world is changing. Every moment. That which is constantly changing is constantly born and constantly dying. The childhood is 
changing into the teenage and as the child enters the teenage, the childhood dies. The teenage is changing into the middle age. As the teenage matures into the middle age, the teenage dies. In this manner, this world is a constant phenomena of unbroken chain of changes. And for these changes, there are now many philosophies. Now all these philosophies I will not go into. <coughs> now all these philosophies, they tell that this world is uh, constantly changing and it is supported by the um, reality and therefore this changing world is real because it is supported by the reality. Some of them say that no, nothing like that. The world has just happened. There is no cause, there is no effect. But these things are not acceptable. If it is like that, then there will be chaos in the world. Sometimes you get up in the morning, the fire is hot. Tomorrow you get up, the fire is cold. Why? I say you that. It is not like that. It is steady. It is not chaotic. It is a cosmos, not a chaos. And therefore, this world is a perfect cause and effect. And the cause is present in the effect, but the effects cannot exist without the cause. And the cause can remain independent of the effect. In this manner, when we look at the world, this world is seen as an effect, but we cannot comprehend what is the cause of this world. And therefore, we have to accept that there has to be some authority which we accept as the ultimate authority. And for this, the scriptures, the Upanishad is the ultimate authority. And therefore, we have to take that there is some in uh, uncreated principle, we call it God or Paramatma, whatever, he is the one who is responsible for creating this world. Now, how this world is created? This Paramatma is inherit, uh, having his inherent potentiality. This inherent potentiality is called as Shakti in the Shaiva, Radha in the Vaishnava, Sita in the devotees of the Rama, and Prakriti by the Sankhya. Names are different, but it is the same inherent potentiality. Like the liquidity in the water, the heat in the fire, in the same manner, Paramatma is having his own inherent potentiality and this potentiality, when it is in a equanimous state, then the world disappears. And when this potentiality is in a uh, non-equanimous state, then the world is created. Without this conscious reality, these Potentiality has no existence. There is no place, there is no time, there is no object which can exist without the light of consciousness. And therefore, this chida, uh, chiti or chida akasha can never, never be negated. In this manner, everything is projected out of this Paramatma, the Chiti, the conscious reality, and everything goes back into it. In this manner, this world is existing only in this consciousness, like all the waves are existing in the mirror, in the ocean, in the same manner. Without the ocean, the waves have no existence. Similarly, without <coughs> the conscious reality, this world has no existence. Therefore, in the beginning, now here, it is sim similar like the Upanishadic thought, yathana santi taddvai vai samad rupam samvid rupam vinajagar tasma desha maha nevaha shuddha chaitanya vigraha asis rishte pura tasmat utpannam tatra samstitam tasmin vili yane chante jagat etat characharam Thus, in this conscious reality, which is full of its own potentiality, before the creation happened, this reality was. See, on the statement, Sadvai Atmava Idamagra Asid in the Aitya Upanishad, this mantra comes. 
before the creation self alone was in other upanishad comes asadva idam agra asit before creation there was nothing so taking this statement nothing is the reality this is how the buddhists go and establish so before creation only parmatma was now when this statement is made see how many confusions can come before creation only parmatma was that means there was a time when there was creation there was no creation but parmatma was there so parmatma is in the time time is not in the parmatma see therefore when this statement is said before creation only parmatma was that doesn't mean that there was creation no it is the same parmatma which is being abused as the world it is something like this before the ornaments only the gold was so after the ornaments were born gold disappear so what are the ornaments ornaments are nothing but the same gold is now named as ornament no change has happened but change we imagine because we have given a name we have given a form we have given a utility so wherever name form and utility is superimposed world begins see therefore before the creation it was only the conscious existence the maheshwaraha and it is from him alone the whole world is created and goes back to him this is according to the iti agam prasiddha arth tatanna vipratipadyate adrushtarthesu samvadat pramanam hi agamo bhavet what cannot be known by our sense organs and the mind and the intellect that is known only by the authority of the upanishad be very attentive अतीन्द्रिय विषय वेदा प्रमाण इट इज सेम लाइक यू नो अवर लास्ट लाइफ एंड नेक्स्ट लाइफ इट कैनॉट बी प्रूव साइंटिफिकली दैट देर आर अदर वर्ल्ड बियॉन्ड द वर्ल्ड दैट वी आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग देर आर अदर वर्ल्ड नो बडी कैन प्रूव इट साइंटिफिकली देर फोर दो टॉपिक्स that we are the soul we enter this body when the womb in the womb the body is 5 months old and when the body dies the soul goes out and then goes to another body those topics which cannot be dealt with by the human sense organs mind and intellect they are established only by the authority of the scriptures For example, a beautiful example given. Drushyate mani mantra di siddhaya ha sarvato yata ha nalpa nalpa pradhya vijaniyan mani mantra mahaphalam. It's very good thought. See, the movement of the planets. This particular nakshatra moves with this speed. Who has established it? NASA. नासाग्र दृष्टि नासा कैन नॉट एस्टैब्लिश एंड बिफोर ऑल दी साइंटिफिक थिंग्स केम द मूवमेंट ऑफ ऑल द प्लैनेट्स वॉज एस्टैब्लिश वेयर फ्रॉम इट केम इट केम फ्रॉम द अथॉरिटी ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स सी फ्रेंड्स सिमिलरली यू नो इन आयुर्वेदा वेरियस मेडिसिन आर टोल्ड फॉर वेरियस डिसीजेस now according to the allopathy they want to create uh, some um, artificial condition on the mice or rats or the guinea pigs and after they have killed them then they kill the human beings <laughs> scientifically killing okay. and they expect the same type of experimentation in uh, the ayurveda it is not possible because how the ayurvedic medicines are established see that great master he will sit down and his disciples will go in the forest and bring all kinds of plants and he will sit down 
touch the plant's leaf and he will say this leaf is a medicine for this kind of body disorder they will not doubt then he will touch the bark of the plant the bark of this plant is meant for this kind of disorder then the root this root is meant for this kind of where from it not came See? this is not a knowledge conducted in experiments and collected it is a revealed knowledge revealed knowledge is called as veda or the upanishad therefore various kinds of siddhis are indicated that is why you know in his bhashya on patanjali yoga darshan bhagwan veda vyasa writes that you are told example when you have come to the sayyama trayam ekatra sayyama when our mind can be controlled with reference to time space and object simultaneously it is called as sayyama when the mind has become sayyama then if you focus your mind on the esophagus kanthakupa is esophagus and when you do the sayyama on the esophagus you can conquer hunger and thirst various siddhis in the third chapter of yoga shastra it is given where from they are given for that vedaha pramanam there bhagwan veda vyas writes that you must do one of them any one of them and come to experience that what siddhi is indicated in the yoga shastra it does happen then your faith in every statement of the veda or the upanishad will be strengthened see friends we don't have to conduct every experiment only one experiment you do they say this will happen now do their experiment and see happens or not and if it happens then every statement of the upanishad is right and with that deep faith and commitment to the scriptural statement then only we can proceed on the spiritual path but if we say oh where is god you know i don't believe there was somebody to showed me some pamphlet a, a meeting of the atheist is being conducted somewhere here you know in melbourne all the atheists are great devotees of the lord you know that <laughs> how they are great devotees of the lord you go on insisting i don't believe in god but we are not asking you to believe what i don't believe don't believe no no but i don't believe see <laughs> because you believe you are telling you don't believe there no other reason atheists are the hypocrites they believe but they don't accept that they believe therefore all these various siddhis which are told to the mani the mantra various mantras are used you know if you do this chanting of this mantra this will happen be friends when you see the things then you will understand we have seen i tell you the mantras is this so solid that by the mantras one can invoke the dead spirits by the mantras you can change somebody's mind by the mantras you can destroy somebody by this mantras you can help somebody the where from this knowledge has come it is not a knowledge which is created by the human mind therefore <clears throat> these various hidden treasures of the various things in the world can never be known by this pokey intellect of the human being therefore tasmat sarvajna gadito yagamah sarva darshanah tatrokto deva evada srishtehe jagatah astitah therefore this sarvagya the omniscient lord alone who has given the scriptures the vedas the upanishad he alone is the real god who created this world and this god was before the world was created that means after the world was created god has not disappeared it is not like you know the pot maker made the pot and sold it and went home and he doesn't know what is used that pot for 
whether the pot is used for milk or for the um, salt he has no control no the lord himself became the world he did not create the world and go away this is the basic difference in the vedanta and all other philosophies in other philosophies they accept the god as the, the efficient cause the sentient cause of this world is god but the question comes what about the material cause <coughs> everything has got minimum two causes material cause and efficient cause like the clay is the material cause of the pot and the pot maker is the efficient cause of the pot if we accept that the god is only the efficient cause who created this pot of world the question comes what is the clay out of which the world was created see friends उपनिषद वेरी क्लीन डिटेल्स इट विल कम हियर आल्सो यथोर्ण नामी सृजते गृण्णते च यथा पृथिव्याम औषधय संभवन्ति यथा सत पुरुषात केश लोमानी तथा क्षरा संभवति ह विश्वम द लॉर्ड इज साइमल्टेनियसली द मटेरियल एंड एफिशिएंट कॉज ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड सो निरुपादान एवादो सृष्टवान अखिलम जगत यस्मान महेश्वर पूर्ण स्वच्छ स्वातंत्र संयता <coughs> now this maheshwara this parmatma he is purna swachha swatantra yukta purna infinite the difference between the finite and the infinite is see house or our body is finite therefore because my body is finite you are all existing outside this house is finite therefore our cars are outside but infinite is that in which there is nothing outside everything is included mai eva sakalam jatam upanishad says everything is born in me not out of me see mai eva sakalam jatam mai sarvam pratishtitam everything is existing in me nothing can exist outside the space but when we take the house the infinite space is temporarily imaginarily made finite and the moment this space is finite the illusion of inside and outside comes the jiva the individual being a finite therefore he sees the world outside friends this is another very subtle thought if you practice with this understanding your understanding will change the world begins when the concept of in and out is born at this moment what is our concept i am inside the body and you are all outside the body now when we sleep in deep sleep our identification with the gross body is gone therefore we are neither inside the body nor outside the body we are neither inside the house nor outside the house we are neither in australia nor outside australia the very concept of in and out is only an illusion therefore this whole world is existing in the maheshwara there is nothing which can be deleted from the lord therefore purna sachan sachcha swatantra sayudah mahan parmeshwara so the supreme reality paramatma the one in whom this whole world is existing चिदात्म भित्ता भित्तौ अखिल चित्र मुन्मील जगत न जगत संभवती वही क्वचि अवस्थित सो इट इज समथिंग लाइक ऑन ए कॉन्शियस वॉल दिस पेंटिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज क्रिएटेड लाइक यू नो द मिरर 
in that mirror the whole world is reflected so the reflection is nothing but the mirror alone exactly the same way on the mirror of consciousness this whole world is therefore this world is nothing but the conscious reality see <clears throat> now this world cannot be existing independent and other than the conscious reality because if something is without the light of consciousness it has no existence so everything is existing in consciousness and therefore everything is consciousness therefore when you accept in this manner that the world is nothing but parmatma appearing with different names and forms and how this world is created by the parmatma like a yogi or a magician creates so many things see and those so many things which are created by them they appear to be real but they are not we can conduct so many business with them so when an ordinary yogi or a magician can create then this paramatma if he has created this world what is the great surprise about it take your own example the teacher says see rama te manasi srishti mano mai eva kevala aneka matru me yadi prachura yav vasate he prachuram ji why bother about this world take your own creation in the dream when we see the whole world our mind alone has become the uh, inanimate world our mind alone has become the animate world our one mind alone has become multiplicity manyness our own mind has achievement and failure different natures of the different people in the dream so when our mind can create such a lovely wonderful world in the dream <coughs> can't parmatma create do we take uh, the help of someone else to create our dream let us float tenders <laughs> we don't now the question comes if we are seeing the dream but nobody else can see our dream but this world is seen by all of us how about it see so the teacher says the difference is jiva is finite and therefore for him the world although appearing outside is not seen by others but ishvara maheshwara being infinite therefore his sankalpa his creation is ever seen by every one of us therefore this world is nothing but consciousness and appearing as the reflection see friends <clears throat> aneka bhed bhinna api manaso anyana kvachit उत्पन्ना मनसहा तत्र स्थिता तत्र इवलीयते द एलिफंट्स आर बोर्न द एनिमल्स आर बोर्न द मूवमेंट इज बोर्न द फ्रेंड्स आर बोर्न द एनिमल्स आर एनिमीज आर बोर्न द महात्माज आल्सो कम इन द ड्रीम द थीव्स आल्सो कम दे ऑल कम स्टे देयर इन द ड्रीम एंड अगेन गो बैक एवरीथिंग इज एक्जिस्टिंग इन द माइंड now if everything is existing in the mind can we say that because it was a dream it was other than the mind no the mind itself was appearing as a dream like the ocean itself is appearing like waves like the water itself is appearing like the ocean and the waves like the water alone is appearing like cause the ocean effect the waves so the same water is being called by so many names 
So where is the cause and where is the effect? In this manner, this whole world is nothing but Paramatma, the conscious self. The Chetana Sattva Matra. Sa Kevala Mano Rupa Yatha Tadva Jagat Jagat Shivat Sa Shivas Chiti Matra Karupa Chiti Ravi Graha. Therefore, <clears throat> this whole world is nothing but only the Paramatma alone manifesting in different names and forms. Because this Shiva, the Maheshwara, is nothing but only the pure consciousness. And for this pure consciousness, there is no body required. All the bodies are existing in the consciousness. Consciousness is not in any body. <coughs> Everything is in the space. Space is not in anything. There are two types of thoughts. You know, there is one Adhyatma Upanishad and here. The thoughts appear to be different, but they are not. In Adhyatma Upanishad says, <coughs> The earth is the shariram of the Atma, but the earth doesn't know. The Water is the shariram, the body of the Atma, but the water doesn't know. The fire is the body of the Atma, but the fire doesn't know. In this manner, he goes. All the Panchamahabhutas, then all the sense organs, then all the mind, everything is the body of the Atma, but they do not know. Here it is said that these things are not the body of the Atma. What does it mean? It means... When Paramatma is manifested and we recognize the manifested Paramatma, then it is that manifestation is called as the body. It is something like this. Eyes are nothing but mind peeping out of the structural eye. Then it is called as the vision. So to make us understand what the mind is, we are told, see, that which is coming out of the eyes as vision is the mind. Therefore, the mind is the atma of the eyes. If the mind is not behind the eyes, eyes have no existence. So, manifest understanding is different. And unmanifest understanding is different. He who has both the understanding. Tasmin drishte paravare. Para is transcendental. Avara is immanent. When we are able to understand gold as in and through all the ornaments and yet beyond all the ornaments, then alone we have understood the gold correctly. But if we insist, no, to understand gold, you have to melt all the ornaments. Then we are Dumbo. See, in the same manner, to recognize this conscious reality, we don't have to destroy anything in this world. See, the same reality is appearing in the multiplicity of the names and forms and yet it has not suffered any loss of unity. This understanding is the only correct understanding. Mm. Therefore, this world, although appearing many in our dream, yet it is nothing other than the mind. So the whole world in the dream is born out of the mind, remains in the mind, goes back in the mind. In the same manner, manner this conscious reality alone is the truth in which the whole world is born and the whole world goes back and yet the conscious reality is no more limited by any particular name or form. See? <clears throat> because this chiti, this conscious reality is infinite with all infinite powers, the witness of everything without any limitation of any kind and therefore it is complete in itself. See? In this world, now what is the world? From here the teacher takes us the definition of world, what the world is. This is a very good definition. He says, 
कालो देशस्च लोकेस्मिन् परिच्छेद कर स्मृत तत्राकारमयो देश कालस्तु सियामय न वॉट इज दिस वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड हेज गॉट टू आस्पेक्ट वन आस्पेक्ट इज दैट देश एंड काल देश इज द प्लेस काल इज द टाइम एंड बिट्वीन दिस टू त्र आकारमयो देश द स्पेस इज क्रिएटिंग द शेप एंड द फॉर्म एंड काल सियात्मक एंड द टाइम इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ एक्टिविटी सो दिस वर्ल्ड इज फॉर्म्स एंड एक्टिविटीज एंड बोथ ऑफ देम आर सपोर्टेड बाय द सेम कॉन्शियस रियालिटी सी नाउ व्हेन these forms and the activities are supported by the consciousness tell me how can the time and the activity can ever control the consciousness can the light in the bulb control the electricity electricity will control the light not the other way around like i can see the mic the mic cannot see me my uh, the mind can see the eyes eyes cannot see the mind how the mind is like in the same manner consciousness reflecting in the body as a mind this mind can see everything else in the world but when the same mind is focus on its own source the conscious reality the mind cannot comprehend and that is why unknowingly we all know this and therefore whenever we sit for meditation or prayer we close our eyes avrutta chakshu when colors and forms disappear from our life when eyes disappear when the mind is quieted not even a dream when everything is absent do we experience our absence See, the condition is like this: when the mirror is removed from your face, in front of taken away, where will the reflection go? And when again the same mirror is brought in front of your face, where from the reflection have come? Coming and going. you can talk with reference to reflection see but has it really come and gone it is the same mirror which became the reflection in the mirror nothing else because reflection is not separate from the mirror see friends therefore here the teacher says that everything is nothing but this absolute conscious reality time and space where are you this is my regular meditation after every 2 3 days i change my place therefore the first thing, first night when i sleep i don't switch off the light so when i get up i don't know where i am for you sleeping in the same bed same house everything by default you don't have to even wake up and uh, open your eyes straight away go to the bathroom and come back without your knowledge because it's only the default setting but every time you change the place and as you know what where i am and then what time it is what for i am here sometimes it happens so deeply that i just don't get any understanding just like a dumb because there is no standardization of time space what time it is what place it is what job i have to do see friends therefore this time space cannot exist independent of this conscious reality therefore they cannot condition this conscious self now tell kasmin deshe cha kalesha chitir nasti ha tadvada now tell me tadvada what is that time and what is that place when consciousness did not exist
बिकॉज एवरी थिंग इज कॉन्शियसनेस विच इज द रिफ्लेक्शन इन द मिरर विच इज एक्सिस्टिंग इनडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द मिरर नो रिफ्लेक्शन कैन एक्सिस्ट इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द मिरर बिकॉज द मिरर इट सेल्फ हैज बिकम द रिफ्लेक्शन इन द सेम मैनर एवरी थिंग इज नथिंग बट एब्सोल्यूट कॉन्शियस रियालिटी सी फ्रेंड दिस इज वॉट ईशावास सेज ईशावासमिदम सर्व यंच जगत्याम जगत तेन त्यक्न मुंजी था मा गृदक से स्वीधनम न विथ दिस बैकग्राउंड ऑफ नॉलेज नव अंडरस्टैंड द सेम मंत्र आगे ईशावासमिदम सर्व दिस रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज नथिंग बट द सर्फेस ऑफ द मिरर इन द कॉन्शियस मिरर दिस वर्ल्ड इज नथिंग बट द रिफ्लेक्शन ईशावास विदम सर्व यंच जगत वॉट एवर इनसिग्निफिकेंट इट मे बी इट इज परमात्मा अलोन बिकॉज वेदर इट इज अ सेंट रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द मिरर और ए क्रिमिनल रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द मिरर whether it is a huge elephant reflected in the mirror or a mosquito reflected in the mirror all of them are nothing but the mirror itself ishavasamidam sarvam yat kincha jagatyam jagat tena tyakte na munjitha don't give importance to the reflections but focus your attention on the surface of the mirror munjitha atmanam palayetha come to recognize मयि एव सकल जात मयि सर्व प्रतिष्ठित मयि सर्व लय याति तद्रह्मस्म सी फ्रेंड्स दिस एक्सपीरियंस वी ऑल हैव विथ रेफरेंस टू आवर ओन लाइफ ओनली थिंग वी आर नॉट अवेर ऑफ व्हाट इज दैट एक्सपीरियंस दिस एक्सपीरियंस इज द वन वेर इन blessing and cursing is redundant <clears throat> there is no blessing and cursing possible like when we bite our own tongue our own lips for whatever reason while taking food suddenly sometime we bite our tongue now when we bite our tongue do we curse the teeth and when the tongue goes and digs something in between the two teeth and with great struggle it comes out and you throw it ah will the teeth say thank you darling you are always helpful <laughs> there is neither the curse nor the blessing curse and blessing is possible only if there is a sense of otherness see friends <coughs> they were get involved in this world for both cursing and blessing no need you will get lost in this world of relativity see abiding in this undivided objectless awareness experience <coughs> is living in meditation <coughs> how we look at the reflection in the mirror if the reflection is um not clear we don't blame <coughs> the reflection we blame the mirror the mirror is not good but the conscious mirror that we are is perfect there is no impurity in it but there is no otherness and therefore this whole world is nothing but this paramatma the astita <coughs> astita hi padarthanam prakasho na parak khalu prakashastu chiti prokta na chitaha syat prakashata astita hi padarthanam prakasho na paraha khalu see when something is existing how it is established it is existing because it is seen it reveals itself is there any light in the bulb so you look at the bulb and they say get me a torch let me see whether there is a light in the bulb or not we don't do that 
because the light in the, or the bulb is self-illumined. See? So, here, the when something is there or not, that is revealing its presence. Whether there is light or no light, but we do know the bulb. There is bulb. Be very attentive, very subtle thought. When the light is in the bulb, we say there is light in the bulb. When there is no light in the bulb, yet we say there is a bulb. So the bulb is revealing us in two ways. One, because of its light. Second thing, in even the absence of the light, the bulb reveals itself. That light which is illuminating the lighted bulb and the fuse bulb is the one beyond the lighting and fusing. That light of consciousness is ever present. See? Is it not our daily experience? We know the things both present and absent. So when we know both the present and the absent, then who are we? We are beyond the presence and the absence. Na tat sat, na tat asat uchate. In this manner, the inert world itself cannot know itself, but it is the conscious reality alone which is supporting this. Therefore, that is the original light which is supporting, which is self-established, which doesn't require anything else to know. <clears throat> and this, the, world, the inert and the conscious world is both illumined by this light of consciousness. And therefore, this ananya, anya, anapekshade neva chiti swasvin prakashate jadas chitim samashritya prakashante na chanyatha our presence is not recognized by the light of the mind, light of the sense organs, light of the intellect. But it is in the light of the consciousness alone, all of them are enlivened. Therefore, one of the methods of meditation is, when you drop all your sense organs, and that experience, which does not involve sense organs, mind, and also the experiencer, dhyatru dhyane parityajya, experiencer effortful, and the means of knowledge when everything is dropped. Yet, the experience that we are remains unnegated. <coughs> like objects have colors and forms, what is the color of the vision? Vision has no color, no form. When vision doesn't have color and form, can the mind have colors and forms? Can the conscious reality has colors and forms? Thus when the experience is pramana nirapeksha, the experience which does not require involvement of any means of knowledge, And this presence is not against the absence. That presence which is against the absence is samsara. Light is against the darkness. Joy is against the sorrows. Birth is against the death. Health is against the diseases. But this self that we are support both diseases and the health. It is not against the disease. 
it is not favoring the health that we supports everything and is never negated supports everything including the absence but is never absent therefore beyond the presence and the absence that is what is the conscious reality so without expectation of any other means of knowledge the self is revealed it is not like any objective world is established because somebody seer is there so that experience where the knower is not born the experiencer is not born he is the ultimate therefore अप्रकाशे वस्तूना अस्तिता चेत शुणु अस्ति नास्ती लोकेस्पिन व्यवस्था न सा सी अति सो इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी कैन टॉक अबाउट समथिंग इज आ समथिंग इज नॉट बट वी कैनॉट यूज द सेम लैंग्वेज टू स्पीक अबाउट अवर सेल्फ सी आई एम टू से दिस first i had to accept that i was not even to say i am is a blasphemy when the self is never absent what is the need to say that i am that which is beyond is and is not is and is not falls in the purview of <coughs> mental perceptions mind alone can have the language of is and is not because mind is and is not therefore the language of the mind is is and is not but the presence that we are it can never be experienced as absent when it can never be experienced as absent is there any need to say that it is present if i have got only one son is it necessary for me to say he is my elder son see if i have got a desert then i have to number them this is number 6 see friends in this absolute all languages fail and therefore maunam vyakhya prakatita para brahma tatvam yuvanam varshishtante vasadrushiganeehi avrutam brahma vrindaihi and this silence is what this mauna is what this mauna is not against the sounds this silence is not opposed to the sounds this is prashanti we know ashanti we know shanti but there is one more called as prashanti prashanti is that which cannot be destroyed by ashanti and which cannot be improved by shanti that is the ultimate om purnamada purnamidam purnaat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya पूर्णमेवशिष्यते ओं शांति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः